We're back, back in the warehouse. Figured I might as well film a video. I'm trying to get the gain right for this uh, mic up here before you were able to hear every sniffle, every sing you were able to hear my food digesting. It was that good. So hopefully this is a little bit lower. Uh, we got a shipment in. We're going to go through it, see what we get, and talk about why we ordered it. Um... So, Lost Ca oh, not Lost Caverns, Jesus. <sighs> they release a set every minute, so I can't really keep up. Jesus. Uh, Thunder Junction. Again, more Thunder Junction. Uh, it was Commander decks because, guess what? They're sold out of boosters. Who saw that coming? Uh, I would love to say I did, but I didn't. So... Hopefully, they'll get restocked soon, but I'm just telling you what was told to me. I can't get any more booster boxes if I wanted to. So, what does that tell us? It's a good set. It's a good set. It's a good set. Uh, I could still get Commander decks just because Commander decks seem to be the most popular freaking thing ever. Where's my energy drink? There it is. Uh... We initially ordered 350 Commander displays. We are down. I'll show you what we're down to. Come take a little walk with me. Right here. <laughs> three. We have three left. Um, yeah. It's, it's a good set. So... We're going to open our stuff up, talk about, uh, you know, stuff. Oh, we won those eBay cases. So that's a good thing. We win, you thieving rat. <laughs> One for the good guys. Uh, we won all three cases. One we don't need to respond to because their eBay profile got banned before... Uh, the return got delivered, so that's good. Yeah, I don't know why uh, they sent... I guess it was only 100 displays I ordered, but normally they palletize it. Oh, I know why they didn't, because it is the... Because uh, in, in these displays, it's only uh, four commander decks. I believe if it was the one that come with five, they would have palletized it. So we ordered a hundred. How many boxes we got here? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve boxes. Eight per box. A little math. Ninety-six. Plus there's probably four somewhere scattered about. So let's unbox this shit. Oh, also today, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. Uh, so TCG Machine sent me something to fix uh, the feeder. I believe they're upgrading the feeder system, so I'm going to have to try and install that later today. We'll figure that out, hopefully. But it's kind of a slow day after release. Uh, you know, eBay, TCG Player, all, all that stuff still needs to get taken care of. But as far as, like, getting orders out the door kind of in uh like just coasting mode right now we also ordered a hundred displays of doctor who commander decks i mean margins on those really aren't too good right now but what people still really don't take into consideration are the plane chase cards i mean you could still probably get 20 to 30 bucks for a set and you know even if even if you break even on the display you could still make like 30 bucks on it <clears throat> but i mean there's still a little margin on the display itself not as much as it used to be we'll take what we can get and you know what i love when they when they send non-pallet orders i get free packaging material it's like a bonus I, wait do we have a pallet order I don't think so. 
I wait, do I have a pallet order? I don't think so. Unless I made a mistake? Do I have a pallet order? You remember what you ordered? I don't remember now. I think I ordered a hundred of something. Wow, I guess I do. Whoops. More stuff. What's up, man? So, we got a pallet order. Uh, I didn't think it was coming pallet, but apparently it is. Uh, I think I got a sign for this. Where do I got a sign? I thought it was coming uh, UPS. I got to look back. What is it? Ah, it's got to be the Doctor Who. Yeah, it's the Doctor Who stuff. All right, let me move this. So I kind of want to put it over here. Hopefully he doesn't give me any fucking lip about where he's putting it. They always do that. I don't know why. What does it make a difference if it's here or if it's here? Just put it over here. All right? Call, called it. When you order 100 displays of any commander deck that has five decks in it, they send it on a pallet. And if you order it with the ones that have four, it ain't gonna come in a pallet. Just leave it there. Unexpected deliveries. Uh, I didn't realize I was getting that on a pallet. It's kind of looking forward to getting some more free packaging material, but <laughs> we'll take what we can get. All right, let's continue opening up our other stuff. I'll tell you what, I save everything. Everything. Boxes. You want to give me free boxes? People don't take that into consideration. Like boxes, you're probably like a dollar each once they're big. Like the boxes I buy, they're a dollar each shipped. Probably more, dollar twenty-five. So right here, extra dollar. We're making money. I don't know. For some reason, that that freight driver always has. Wait, was that Dewey? Yeah, it was. Oh, okay. Because there's one freight company that get they they try and snake you. So as you can see, I just lifted the gate and he rolled it in here. They try and charge you for an inside delivery for literally just coming over the threshold. So, uh, I gotta buy a pallet jack. Cause some companies do, and some companies don't. That company doesn't, so that's good. But, I gotta get a pallet jack, cause the last time I had a freight delivery, they tried to charge me for an inside delivery after the fact. So he rolled it in here, and then he was like, oh, I gotta charge you for an inside delivery. I was like, well, take it back out. <laughs> He was like, uh, what did he say? He's like, oh no, I can't touch it once uh, I, I drop it to the floor, once I remove the pallet jack. I'm like, well, I don't want it in here. You're gonna charge me extra? And it was like an extra 180 bucks, he was saying. I was like, it's literally like one foot from there to here. I just leave it, I'll, I'll buy a pallet jack. <laughs> but, so, if you get pallet deliveries, look out for that. Some companies trying to, uh, snake you after the fact now it that wouldn't have been an issue if he told me beforehand i would have been like ah whatever but the fact that he rolled it in here and then dropped it down and then said hey uh i'm gonna have to charge you for an inside delivery it's like hey no you're not you didn't tell you like you didn't tell me dude that would be equivalent to someone buying something from me and then i email them and say hey in order for me to get it delivered to your house you're gonna have to give me an extra 150 dollars just like, wait, what? No. <laughs> what did you say again? Oh, I said tomorrow the uh, release of the starter deck for One Piece. One Piece starter deck. And tomorrow. And was listening on the CCG player. It's unopened, but the promo, or the promo package that comes with it is taken. Yeah, 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 yeah. And y yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm here saying, oh, it has come to this. Yeah, so basically what he said is the new One Piece starter deck comes out tomorrow. Woo! What's it called again? Three Brothers something, and there's people selling it on TCG Player. Unopened, but it is opened. For how much? It is $44.99. $44.99. So what's the MSRP on that? $34.99. Okay. What's the issue? Because people were... So it's $44.99. It's $34.99 MSRP. They're selling it for $44.99. Yes, without the phone. Okay. $34.99. 
And everyone's freaking out, right? Yeah. They're saying like, like uh, report the store. Yeah. yeah, of course, of course, report the store. It's not even that much of an increase. Don't buy it then. If if pe like that's the thing. People. <sighs> People are so quick to go and try and get someone's livelihood and life taken away from them over $10. But the, even if they do report them, there's nothing that could happen. Mm -hmm. They're just spinning their wheels. Mm -hmm. They're just getting angry for no reason over $10. But what they don't take into, into account is like, it's $34.99 but you can't always pay $34.99 to get things to your door. That's MSRP of $34.99. Sometimes things cost money to get to you. It's crazy. Amazon ruined everyone's way of thinking. MSRP is $34.99. Okay. So go to the store. Go to, go to Walmart, wherever. Go to the One Piece store. I don't know where you're going to get this stuff, but it, you ain't going to find it. Waste hours and hours of your life looking for this stuff. Or is your time worth more than $10? I'd say probably, even if you're making minimum wage. So either shut up or buy it. Because if, if no one bought it, believe me, the price would come down. But people are buying it because people want it. So that's the, what the price is going to be. Sorry. The market's gonna do what the market's gonna do. Would you got, would people be complaining if it was the other way? If it was the inverse? If they were going for $10, but online? And would they be running to the store to buy them for 34? No, I get it, everyone wants a deal, but sometimes you can't get a deal because the product's good and people want it. It is what it is. It's crazy that this day and age, there's still people that like, don't understand how things work. And I get it, you wanna play the game, you want it to be accessible, but that's a, that's a fault on the company, not on the sellers. So, take it up with the company. Yeah, but, yeah, but, uh, the company said that, you know, we should try and cancel someone's whole life and their livelihood because uh, $10. It's like, okay, first of all, you can report till you're blue in the face. <sighs> Nothing's gonna happen because they don't control the secondary market. Like, it is what it is. Like there was even like, there was, remember that thing on Reddit that the One Piece store was uh, selling shit out the back door? Yeah, back door. Yeah, it even happens at the One Piece store, guys. It's shocking, but people take care of their good customers. I know. What a, what a world we live in where someone's uh, top tier customer gets treated with a little bit more, um, I guess, favoritism than the average person. That's just how it works. Like, even in, in your daily life, like the person watching this who's getting angry, I, I bet you at your local Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts that you go to every day, every once in a while you get a little something extra, right? We all do. That's just how it works. It's just good customer service. I don't get it. Like, it, it, and it comes down to your hobby. <laughs> you want to try and kill someone's way of life because you didn't get the same deal that that customer got. But hey, that customer's probably been shopping with them since the beginning and is a really good customer and never complains about the price. So, Ah, they get taken care of. That's what happens. I do it. Everyone does it. Like I have, I have the same deal that I, I like that I deal with a sports guy. One of my sports guys. We get a very small amount of sports, but he always tells me what to order. Been a customer since day one. Never complained about a price ever, ever. So what happens when I get really, really sought after sports? that are going for a thousand dollars a box online that I spent $300 for, guess who gets it at three or 400 bucks? Him. Why? Because he helps me out, great customer, always been a good customer, and I like him. So, that's how it works. But, 
this day and age, everyone's so quick to rally together on these echo chambers that is Reddit, Twitter, blah, 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 whatever, rather than, you know, they get their, you know, angry mob together to try and cancel a store or cancel a business, cancel someone's way of life because they're upset about their situation. And that's really all it comes down to. You know, other people upset that they can't have or want something that other someone else has. So their first, you know, reaction is to boycott, get other people on their side, get the pitchforks out, you know, because everyone just wants to be a part of something, pretty much. So if they can feel like they're a part of something, no matter what, what it is, they're going to do it. So that's just my two cents on it. You want special deals? Be a special customer. I don't know, but that's just my uh, two cents on the matter. Already in Target and Walmart. Yeah, already. See, that, that's the thing. Now they're all, they'll all go out. They'll all be like, Target and Walmart, sell it, sell them. Hurry up, buy it, buy it, buy it. But meanwhile, if we did it and we charged, I don't know, 40 bucks, they'd be like, they're selling them early. Report them. Ruin their lives. Yeah. And that's just how it works. But I don't know, man. People are crazy. <sighs> it was so funny. Back then when uh, Commander Masters came out and... Uh, Amazon was selling it for like 50 bucks less than I bought it for on the yeah. day of release. Yeah. There were people like messaging me, you should do a class action lawsuit on the company. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> That's, but, but it's that mentality of, you know, trying to go after someone else for your shortcomings. Like me, that was a total misstep on my part. Why am I going to try and go after someone's life for losing a hundred and something thousand dollars. I did it. It's my own fault. But what people didn't see from my point of view, let me talk about that. Because this was the, that was like right at the point where the Patreon started to really pick up. So me, you know, as a kind of, I don't know, overachiever or not overachiever just like people pleaser i wanted to have a lot of it so everyone could order it so they can get it for me really cheap <sighs> what i didn't take into account is that no one wanted it at that price so we almost imploded our business but we have since recovered we recovered kind of a little bit <laughs> i don't know i think these uh these uh kind of delivery stock talks are pretty good. Really gets a lot off my chest. It allows you to see what I'm buying. It allows you to see what my patrons are buying and just people in general are buying. Doctor Who, I've been thinking about doing a like 50 display. We haven't opened stuff <sighs> months. It's been months. The last thing we opened was uh, Karlov Manor just out of necessity because we had to, because no one was buying it. Uh, but that's it. I miss opening shit. I miss seeing what people are buying. I miss seeing that. I'm kind of removed from that right now with you know the patron and Patreon and everything like that because people buy up everything before I can open it. <laughs> so it's like, what the hell? I mean, it's a, good, it's a good problem to have, but I do miss the hustle and bustle of it. Oh, speaking of hustle and bustle, <laughs> I forgot to, I don't think I ever mentioned this, but I had, last uh, month I had a, someone join the Patreon and he, uh, Pokemon guy, oh my God. And uh, so this was the second time he joined and left. Whatever, that happens all the time. People join, they don't like the prices because they think everything costs a, cost me a nickel. <laughs> Uh, that's not the case and they join and then they leave right away because they don't like the prices but you know whatever I can't buy things and then sell them to people for less than I pay for them it's just I can't 
That would be the quickest way to go out of business. So, um, anyway, he joined. This is right around, I think, Paldean Fates. So he joined, bought, I think, literally every single booster bundle I had in stock, which was, wasn't that many, because we didn't, we don't, we don't do a lot of Pokemon. We just started getting it, getting into it, doing that on the Patreon. So, um, he then, after it get, after I ship it, messages me that, you know, he wants me to do, like, pallet orders for him and stuff like that, and for me to lower my price. And I'm just like, no, like, I, I can't. Like, people think if they spend, like, 10 grand with you, that all of a sudden negates all the logistics behind getting that to them. Yeah, you could spend 10, 20,000 with me, but it does, still doesn't negate the fact that it would then have to get to you through, like, a freight shipment that I would have to logistically coordinate and get it here and palletize it. It's just, like, it's not worth the time. And then he proceeds to say that I'm going to regret it and pretty much calling me lazy. He was saying, oh, it's just, you know, I guess you don't want to, you don't want to put in the work. I'm like, what? Go fuck your mother. Me? Not put in the work? Are you kidding me? I work 16 hours a day. Go suck a dick. Like, I don't, I don't know what this, like, and this, you know, like, you're going to talk like that to me. I'm going to talk a certain way to you. That's just how it works. Like, I don't care. I don't care. If you're going to speak rude to me, I'm going to speak rude to you. You're not going to call me lazy. Like, I'm not... The, <laughs> the most driven person I know. And you're going to call me lazy. No. I'm sorry. Not in, not, not in this dojo. So, whatever. He burnt that bridge. Uh, it's funny because we all talk. Everyone who does this kind of thing, we talk. And he just so happens to be in another program, another person's program that I talked to. And uh, we just had a, a, it was just funny. We had a good giggle about him. Thank God this uh, Doctor Who palette came. I got another desk. I got to order another uh, table from Uline. I think putting one right here this way might be, uh, oh, yeah, but it would block. yeah, but we could just push this up. Maybe. Because this is too small, this one. Oh, I'll tell you one thing that people are really sleeping on right now is the convention uh, mystery boosters. I think I could probably get these and offer them for probably like 130, 140 in, in that region. Probably 130. Yeah, probably 130 or 135. But some good shit in here uh i think the ev's there i'm not gonna lie i normally like to do a little test run myself before i do like a, an offering to the patrons but i don't know i'll see i'll do more research on that Let's give you an update in the next video but i think that's a good uh a good play especially you know mana crypt you got you got all the good stuff in there even though mana crypt got reprinted again in uh Lost Caverns, it's still $180, $150 card, right? Something like that? Yeah. I think so. So I think that's uh, about it for today. Um, what did we learn? Thunder Junction was a good set. People are crazy. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.